Grading blogs, wikis, and journals all follow a very similar process. You can access them through the content area and choose to grade, or you can go to the course tools and find wikis or journals or blogs. I'm going to use blogs to demonstrate the process. Click on blogs. This will open the blog repository. Click on the name of the blog you want to grade and will open a page that shows all the different contributions. This is an individual blog and right now we have a student who has an entry that needs grading based on this green exclamation point icon. The push pin indicates that it's a new entry. If you click on the name of the student, their contribution to that element will appear, and you can go ahead and read whatever that contribution is. There are two ways to grade. If you do not have a rubric, just click on Edit the Grade, put in how many ever points you think is appropriate, and this is where you would put in your feedback. If you have a long kind of feedback that needs more than a small space, you can always click on the text editor and it will open up a box very similar to all the other text boxes that we have. And you can uh, bold, add color, add files, and different things to the comments to your students. Grading notes are notes for you, the instructor. The students will not see this feedback but it could be used by you to keep track of a process or um, perhaps if you gave points for extra credit or it was a late submission and you still gave certain points or took points away. And you can make notes to yourself in the grading notes area. Be sure to save the grade. If you are grading with a rubric, click on edit the grade, and then, not so obviously, underneath the value box is an arrow that identifies the rubric that you are going to be using. And if I mouse over it, you'll see it says View Inline Rubric. Now, I can actually go through and mark, using my rubric, certain areas that I want to give to the students point-wise. So I can go through that and I can mark that. Get to this point, I'm going to put in some feedback for the student and submit. Now this merely gives me the points and puts it into a queue. If I want to put it into the Grade Center, I must click Save Grade. Clicking Save the Grade puts the grade in the Grade Center. No longer do I see a Needs Grading icon. And if there were other students listed here, I could click on the next student to grade.